Hey, this is YBR back with Jalopy. Now, I know at the end of the last video, I sounded like I was going to be a lifetime criminal, but I decided against that. I'm not a criminal. I'm a good citizen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my money legitimately, and I'm going to give you guys a quick summary of how I get every dollar, and then we'll actually upgrade the car. And I don't think the summary will take too long, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on making my money. First, we load up the car with all of the junk that was in the garage. So I was driving along and there were two boxes on the ground right here and there is a little thing you can do to carry things while you're in the car because normally if you get in the car you drop whatever you have but you can drive with things on your lap. All you do is you get in the car and then you pick them up after you're already in the car although it didn't quite work out that time because that other box is a little too far away. There we go. Got to make sure it's highlighted when you click on it. And just like that we can carry extra things without having to do any sort of effort. All right, so we've made it to the city, and we're going to go ahead and sell off what we can. Now, one box can't be opened, but this one can, so we're going to go ahead and open it up, see what it has, and it's literally empty! What a waste! Well, I still got some other things in here I could sell, so we'll start emptying that out. First, we'll go over here to this stuff and sell it, and then we'll sell everything else as well and see how much money we make. So basically, by gathering up everything I had at home and selling it, I made $60. Or $159, whatever, close enough. So to save money, I decided to not stay at the motel, and instead just return to home and replenish everything I have and sell it once again. So this time I'm really trying to optimize the amount of stuff that I could sell. I have a bunch of water tanks and ignition coils all piled up right there. And then I'm going to also try to carry three tires on my lap while I drive. And that should get me probably about $100 if this actually works according to plan. And it just might if I could get this tire to lit, light up. Come on. Light up. Oh, I saw it. There you go. All right. This is going to be great. My pile of junk over there I brought from home was able to net me $125. And then we're also going to go ahead and buy a crowbar as a proper citizen would. And we're gonna open up this crate and see what is in it. It better not be empty, I swear. I'm gonna be pissed if this thing's empty. All right, it has stuff. We'll go ahead and move my wallet out of here as we move these to the thing and see how much all of this sells for. So that whole crate sold for $15. So in the end, I got a half-priced crowbar, basically. So we'll go ahead and purchase, or get the money for that. And then we're going to repeat the process once again with an even more optimized trunk setup, hopefully. So I think the most profitable thing to do would be to fill the car entirely with jacks, as you see I've done here, because each one of those is worth $10. Now, I had to do a lot of return to home, place jack and car, return to home, place jack and car over and over again to get it that full. But hopefully it'll pay off by making money a little bit faster than the other options. So, with my newest setup, I was able to make just over $200, which gives us enough money to buy the first upgrade I wanted to buy. So, let's make our way over to the upgrade shop. Since I've never purchased an upgrade before, I'm going to go through the whole process with you so you can see how it works. So, you go to the upgrade shop. This dude with the glasses just stands there. You open up the catalog. Say, what do I want? And you have all of these possible options. Now, I actually don't want any related uh, engine-related parts. I want various, and then I want a roof rack so I can store more things on my car. And I still have $179 left to spend, and I got to figure out what I want to spend it on. Now, I actually have my car way back at where it was before because I ran out of fuel. So, I might want to look into getting a bigger fuel tank, but that's... 330 if I want the biggest you can get and I kind of want to get the best possible I want to get like a middle of the road upgrade and then just have to upgrade it later So maybe I'll hold off on that uh, I don't really need a bigger water tank since I rarely use it Maybe I'll just grab the bull bar so I damage the car less and we will order those it Says excellent your order is waiting for you just outside. Oh, I just ordered nothing That was weird because I hit order again when I was trying to hit the words and okay, we're good. I think Drop my wallet back to the car by hitting Q when I was trying to close the book. Whatever. So over here, there are the two things I ordered. The roof rack and the bull bar. We're going to bring them over to the car, which is quite a ways away. So I'll be back when I get there. All right. So I brought my boxes over to the car. We're just going to drop them on the ground and open them up. And we'll figure out how we install the parts. 
Interesting. Well, you don't pull the tape off of these boxes, I guess, because you can't click on the tape. How? Uh, ah! There we go. So we just click on the car with the thing, and there's a little part that highlights. So bull bar goes up here. Perfect! That is now extra durable, extra carrying version of the Leica or Lakia or whatever it's called. I forgot. I've now filled up both the roof rack and the trunk with everything they could possibly take, and they actually store the same amount of things. So both of them have two tires and they both have 12 other things. One has 11 jacks, the other one has 12 because one of them also has the crowbar. So now we're going to go sell all this and then we can get our first engine upgrade I would think. But this time I did try something a little bit different. I grabbed the tires and then I got into the car and I dropped them so they're actually sitting inside of the car. Seems like it works okay. We'll see if they uh, fall out or something though. Or if it slows me down or damages my car or something weird like that. I really don't know what's going to happen, but I hear banging every now and then because of the tires being in the car like that. If this was a bad idea. I can't see nothing half the time when I'm slowing down. The tires always go right in front of me like you just saw right there. So we hit the brakes and yeah. Bad idea. Although it's not quite doubled the amount of money we made last time because a lot of the money comes from what you were carrying in your bare hands. We made... $370 right there, and there's just a pile of junk all over this lady. She can't do nothing anymore because there's just trash everywhere, basically. And now we're going to go and upgrade this engine. Let's go ahead and get the best engine we can possibly get. No compromises here. So you have the stock, which are slower. Then you have the naked, which is slightly faster. The ramshackle, which is slightly faster. And then you have the squash, which is the best that you can get at least that's the way I think it is and I'm not exactly sure which to get here because this one says for quality conditioning this one says for ultimate go power and this one says one you can rely on now I don't know if that actually means anything or if that's just kind of like the thing the brand says no matter what because if you go to the previous page it has the same kind of stuff with the same brand but I want to go fast so we're going to get the HSK version of the engine yeah because that one's the one that says for ultimate go power i was all reading through and make sure that's the one that said that so let's buy that order it up and then order is out front so we'll get out of here and we'll go pick up my new engine and we'll figure out how you install that once we get back home because it's kind of dark so i'm gonna just throw this in the trunk and then teleport back home so i could see what i'm doing all right, so here we are back home, and the engine should be right there. There it is. So 3.5 seconds to get from 0 to 80 kilometers per hour. And it has 30 kilometers per hour more of top speed, and it weighs less than the current engine. This is a great engine. So let's go ahead and swap it out for the old one. So we're just going to jank it out and slap the new one in. And you're done. That's it. We can throw this one in the back and sell it eventually. Now I'm going to stop exploiting the fact we have all these free resources now. I wanted to do it just until I got the engine upgrade and the stuff on top. And then the bull bar was just because I had the money. So now we're going to try to get the rest of the upgrades in a real legitimate fashion. Which means I'm going to actually drive for a bit because I want to see how this engine performs. And I figured you guys would probably want to see as well what the fastest engine in Jalopy is like. So we'll go ahead and choose a route we'll try to pick one that has a gas station and daytime so either of these ones would work so we'll grab that one and we gotta wait because it takes a second to load that sometimes and i probably cut myself off as usual but oh well grab the keys start up my new engine sounds the same as the other ones but then we accelerate it's not super fast it's a little bit faster ain't it that's definitely a little bit faster. It's not a, a dramatic jump or anything like that. I think the other engine topped out at about 90 miles per hour, though. This one should just keep going. And it is. He's telling me to slow down. He said slow down already. No, dude, I just bought this new engine. We go and test it. 120. Oh, my goodness. That is like 50% faster than normal because the normal one would go maybe 80 and then sometimes you tap 90. This one's basically holding 120 though. That is fast. This is great. 
Although now it makes it harder to see the boxes on the edge of the road because I'm going so fast, I'll zoom right by them, right? All right, check this out. We're going to race this fool. Here we go. Ready? I'm going to be able to accelerate faster than him. He's accelerating me too. Dang. How do they accelerate so fast? What have they got in their car that is so good at accelerating? Hey, you want to trade cars, dude? Oh, my goodness. He lost control. He totally lost control of his car. Please don't just go into my lane. Stay in your lane, dude. And I'm ignoring what he's saying because as far as I know, it's the same stuff as normal except for when he said slow down. Is this thing eating for, through fuel faster than normal or did I just start off with less than a full tank? It has to be I started with less than a full tank, right? Because we're already down to like half a fuel tank. That would be terrible if I just destroy my fuel that fast. I couldn't even make it from one gas station to the next probably. I don't know. That thing is going down fast. Well, it's so fast. This is stupid fast. Like this has to be more than 120 because of that downhill section. This is like 130. Boxes! Stop talking! You idiots! I was trying to hit the wheel so I could stop and then all I hear and I missed my box that's way back here. You see what you did? Because you had to talk. And you had to say, oh yeah, I've been to Houston before. It was like 30 years ago. I'm so old. I'm your uncle. Yeah, I know. I know, okay? Oh, it's not going to fit there. That's what we got a roof rack for. What do you mean, oof? I just put something in the roof rack. That's what it's there for. That's what it's made for. Okay, now I didn't even touch it. You need to calm down. Yeah, yeah, blame my uncle. He's busy messing with me, slowing me down. Shut up, blame the uncle. Floor it. Not bad uh, acceleration though. Like it is better than the other one for sure. At first it didn't feel like it. Now nah, I could definitely tell it's better. I have no idea who's honking at me. Who can even keep up? All right, gas station here. We'll slow it up. And we're going to go full speed into it. And then we're going to actually try to pull on the steering wheel to stop right at the last second. Like this. Oh, stoppy. It was so dumb. All right, we could actually fuel up. I don't know if it'll quite reach, though. I think it's a little too short, isn't it? Yeah. So we got to move it forward a bit. We'll fuel up, and then we'll sell whatever's in those boxes. Because this thing is going through fuel, man. I haven't crashed, though. All the driving I've done is legit. I'm happy about that. First things first, though, we'll get rid of the boxes, which means I have to grab them first. I forgot to grab them. I was going into the store before I grabbed them. We'll also grab the crowbar so we can open them up. Hello, yes, I have boxes. I don't know what's in them, but I want to sell them to you. Let me rip this thing open with my crowbar. Doing this right in front of the shopkeep. Like, where'd you even get this box? Don't ask. Oh, I thought that was going to be another empty one for a second. I would have been so annoyed. Like, another empty box? Really? We'll set the crowbar down while we sell everything up. Oh, those are worth eight bucks a piece. That's nice. That's what I'm talking about. It's like a $50 box. Beautiful. How much are these worth? Oh, well, only a buck. But there's more of them, at least. Eventually, the crowbar will be worth it the more things I sell. Oh, that floating point math. Give me my nine 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 zero cents or whatever. And last two. Grab the cobra, bring that back. I was gonna actually buy a repair kit, but y'all don't have one. I won't buy it, I guess. Dang, that's expensive. I'll put it back. Can't afford that. So we'll go put the crowbar back, and then we'll gas it up, then we'll pay. Oh, and I got the engine still. I forgot about that. I have no idea how much this will be worth. I'm doing all kinds of stuff. Open every single thing we possibly can here. Do all the things I wanted to do. Ding, 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 ding. 
All right. I only have $9. I'm poor. Buy this engine. Oh, that's not bad. 74. All right, we got some money now. And we should be able to leave, no problem, since we paid for everything legitimately. I could have used some repairs, but they didn't have any. What a shame. So here's the way you back up. You turn, and then you grab the steering wheel, and then you grab it again to turn the other way. That's what you gotta do, it's the best way. Not exactly pretty, but it works. That's all I care is that it works. Go ahead and headlights on, and then we can go. Wouldn't it be cool if you could get headlight upgrades, get really good ones so you could actually see better during the night because they kind of suck? I'd buy that. 100% I would buy that. So hopefully we'll be able to make it to the town without the car failing, and then we'll actually stay at the motel properly so we're spending money the way you would. And we're going to see how much money you can make legit. Super legit, man. I haven't done this in the other videos. I wasn't doing it legit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shush, shush, shush. I'm staring for boxes here. Usually the boxes are kind of on a spot where the road gets wider, so there's a spot for you to stop, it seems like. Um, so right here, I don't have to worry, I don't think. And usually they're on the right side, so I'm not even looking at the left side. Uh-oh, car's starting to slow down. Gonna have to upgrade those other parts to make sure it doesn't break so bad. Like right here, there might be stuff. Yep. That's how you stop. Watch out for what? Me? Don't worry, I turned it off. Yeah, I wonder if that's bad for the car doing that. Maybe that's why it seemed to get damaged faster than normal. Because my idiot self was like, let's use that to stop. Instead of using, you know, the brakes that are made to stop. Nah, let's not do that. That's dumb. Somebody's honking. Can't be at me. I'm going way too fast for somebody to keep up with me. All right, let's go find that motel. Full speed ahead. Hand on the wheel to grab it when we need to kind of deal. Motel, motel. There it is. Oh, I missed the wheel because I churned it. Like I was lined up on the wheel and I churned it. And look, it makes it go off of the wheel. Oh. That sucks. Oh, I think I broke the car. That broke the car. Because it's not driving no more. All right, dude, we're here. This is outside the motel. This is as close as we can get. You shut up. We're going to go to the hotel now. Motel. Holiday Inn. Whatever it is. You better not say I didn't park my car right. Thank you for the room. Give me that. Ah. He'll be in the room if you need me. Why are you complaining? Let me grab this important stuff I wanted to read. Thank you for the free newspaper. What's that say? Uh, not English. That's what it says. By the way, I think with a recent update, when you stay at a hotel, it actually saves your progress. So now I can stop the video at the hotel and we're still at the hotel. Pretty cool. Right, I'm going to take a nap and read my newspaper. See if uh, that works as you'd expect. And then what we're going to do is we're going to save and quit to see if this works. So save and quit. By the way, there's music on the uh, title screen now. I don't think I mentioned that. You get to listen to it now. It's loud. Like, compared to the game, it's actually really loud. Oh, I hate it when I can't find my cursor. There it is. It also exists while it's in the loading screen. But then once you're in the game, it calms down. Except the game just uh, all tabbed on me. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Oh, we're in a different room, though. Oh, that's disorientating. Okay, whatever. Where's my car? Oh, it's perfectly parked. Except it can't drive. Can it? Or did it get repaired? 
Let me just, uh, let's see what happens when we try to turn this thing on and get going. Here we go! Alright, it starts up! Oh, yes, it can drive. Now, we might have enough money for an upgrade, but I probably should instead repair things. Because it is falling apart at an alarming rate. And maybe what I'll do is I'll get a repair kit and repair the bare minimum. And the repair kit's not over here. You can fit. It's a good thing I got that bull bar. Because I've been crashing a bit, haven't I? Like crashing all over the place. So let's see. Where is the normal store? There it is. I don't need to park at the motel. Oh, no. They're closed. Well, okay, then. I'm not staying at the motel. You know what? I'm going to pull open that book and... I can't pull open the book while the car is in drive. Shushies! I'm grabbing my book. Okay, we're going to take... I want the one with the gas station that's shorter, so we'll go with that one. I don't usually care about the route the road actually goes. It's funny, it just instantly starts raining. Alright, hopefully this thing can make it. Now we got to find a way out of here. I'm a little bit turned around, unfortunately. Go left! Oh, this thing is... I think the tires are ruined, too. It doesn't seem to want to steer very well. Steer! Oh, we are going to die. We are going to crash and die with the way this thing is driving. Hello! Oh, a little too soon. Papers, please. Just like the video game. Papers, please. All right, here's the wallet, and here are the papers. Because I know you corrupt, man. You gonna let me get through? Hello? Okay. Okay. He just threw it through the door. How you do this? The wipers on. Engine back on, and away we go. Yes, I turned the wipers on before I turned the car on. That's totally backwards. I don't care. Wait, why does he say the board is closed? I just went through it. It better not be closed, because I just, I, I didn't care. And visibility is so poor. How about the headlights? Are they on or off? They were off, so now they're on. Maybe they'll help a little bit. Ooh, slippery feeling car. Fast and slippery. That is a death wish. But I'm not going to slow down. I'm too proud of my new engine to slow down. I, I got to let it really stretch its legs and enjoy itself. Before I crash, at least. Yeah, that was interesting, wasn't it? He's saying the same things I've read before, so I'm just kind of skipping over it. Uh-oh. Car's dead. Well! With no repair kit in the car. And a totally busted car. I don't think we're going anywhere. We're going to have to return home. What broke? The fuel tank. Oh, we ran out of fuel? That fast? Oh, my goodness. Okay, I definitely need to carry around some extra fuel with me because that is that is just eating through fuel like crazy. I refueled it and we're already out. Okay, let's just return home for now. And I think we'll end this video here. That's a pretty good example of what a slightly upgraded car drives like, and next time we'll upgrade it even more. So until then, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.